How to enable SSO with Identity Access Management easily. Hello, welcome to Alternative 2. This week we'll have a look at the free and open source AM solution named Keycloak. It comes with a lot of useful features that we will see during this video. It competes very well against pricey solutions such as AWS Cognito, Okta and Ping Identity. So let's have a look at what is Keycloak. It's an identity access manager named AM. It helps to federate identities. It's a ready to use solution to enable SSO on any of your platforms, which means it's a centralized place to authenticate your users. For example, you have multiple tools, but you have only one same access maybe from your company to access those different tools, only one credentials for all your applications. You don't have to create an account on each and remember every credentials. It handles both authentication and authorization. It uses the standards such as SAML, OpenID Connect. By using Keycloak, you can enable social networks login such as Facebook, Google or GitHub. It can be deployed on your servers directly or on containers or Kubernetes. Let's set up our Keycloak instance on LSTO. We go to login, deploy a service, Search for Keycloak. Then I will just keep the default settings and next. Again, create service and we just have to wait it to be deployed and we will receive an email as soon as it done. Okay, I just received a mail that my instance is ready. Now we can use it. So click here. We have different options, but what will interest us is the administration console. But as it is my first time going in, I'm asked a user and password. So username is root and I have to open LSTO to get my password. As usual, go to admin UI and click to copy the password. Okay, so here is my administration panel. What will interest us the most is Realm. Here you have all the setup to enable SSO for your company using what is called Realm. Let's have a look at what it is. You go into clients and account. You can have a URL here by default as I am already logged in, it opens me my instance. So open in incognito window. And now I'm not logged in. So I have to click on sign in and we have the realm login page. We can see that we can't subscribe. We can just log in with our username or email and a password. So what we can do is going into our realm settings. We have a lot of options. For example, here we can say it's LSTO. If we save later, we should see that it's a rename also here. And now I can go into login and here I have a list of useful features. If I want to allow uh, user registration, I just have to check on here. If I want to enable forgotten password, I enable it too. Remember me, I won't set it on. We have a fine tuned controls about the features we want to provide. If you are used to develop your own login system, you know it's a lot of effort. But here with Keycloak, it's out of the box. You are sure it's ready to use and you can focus on what really matters for your business instead of the login uh, and registration forms. Now we enabled user registration. Let's reload this login page. And now we can see the features we just enabled are here. So a new user, I can register or I forgot my password. I can put my username or my email. You must wonder where are the emails coming from? So you can set it up here so you can have all the information here, but also choose the host, the port. So it's sending the emails from your servers and it's secure and you're sure it won't be in the spam folder. Okay. So you can select a lot of different 
options here, but we won't go too deeply into it. You can go into identity provider and now enable a lot of social providers or use the standard options. If we look at GitHub, all we have to do is create an application inside GitHub and copy paste our credentials. So we will be able to, to log in with our GitHub provider. It works the same for almost all providers. You create your app, your credentials, and it's ready to use. Now let's go to the roles. Here you can say, okay, I have the default roles, but I want to add some different roles. It will have a name. Once it has a name, you can define what this user is allowed to do here as it is the administrator. You can do a lot of things. You can add information. Uh, you can see the list of users which have these roles and use fine grained permissions. Even if there is this UI ready to use that you can customize a little bit, maybe you want to create your UI and it's totally possible because they provide an API, a REST API that you can use to create your own user experience. If you also want to have this page embedded in your React application or in your React Native mobile application, there are useful GitHub repository to do so as React Keycloak and React Native Keycloak. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this discovery of Keycloak. As always, if you find this video useful, please hit the like button to help us be more visible over YouTube. If it's not already the case, please subscribe to this channel to be informed when there are new alternative to episodes going out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.